Erev Shabbos Kodesh Parshas Vayakel, and in this week's parasha, we get to work in building the holiest place on earth, the holiest place in history, the Mishkan, the house of God. And the Torah also tells us about how we all came together and everybody put in their hammers, their nails, their blowtorches, their talons, all to build this Mishkan. It's also Parshas Shikolim. Parshas Shikolim speaks of the campaign that the Jewish people made, that Moshe made and Aaron made to raise the money. People took off their nose rings. They, they took off their clothes and their shoes and they threw it into the pile. Give this to the house of God. How wonderful are the Jewish people and how peculiar they are because just a few psukim later in last week's Parsha, right after the Shkalim, we have another campaign, a different type of a campaign, where all the Jewish people came together to, take, to give money to the Egel Hazav, to an Avodah Zarah, to the golden calf, to a piece of idolatry which was the antithesis of the house of God. And how can it be that just in one Parsha, we're giving all of our money to this Egel Hazav, and in another Parsha, we're giving all of our money to the house of God. And the answer to this is that it's all coming from a good place and it's all coming from the same place. We as Jews are wired to give. We as Jews are wired with ambition, with enthusiasm, with being a conscious for the world. And therefore, we are at the forefront of every movement, whether it's a good movement or whether it's a bad movement. We're there. We are the enthusiasm and the energy behind those movements. So when it came to giving money, for the golden calf, we were there. When it came to giving money for the house of God, we were there. It's the same neshama and the same energy, the soul, the spiritual soul, which is driving this giving. For us, though, the lesson is very important because it's not our ambition. We're not measured by our energy. That's what we are and that's who we are. It's what we do with that ambition. It's what we do with that energy. And here's the Jewish people that came from such a good place. The fundraiser was the holy Aaron HaKohen. The money that they gave was with self-sacrifice, but it went to the wrong cause. And this is the responsibility. This is where it comes down to not how we're wired, but how we choose. And we must choose correctly. We must take our energy. We must take our souls. We must take our spirituality and be sure that as long as we're alive in this world, we bring it into the world. We bring holiness into the world. We bring happiness into the world. And we bring godliness into the world. Shabbat Shalom. Um.